Hey guys, Gas Guzzler here, and uh, today we're going to try to get these two Dinley two-stroke quads running after they've sat for I don't even know how long. So I believe at the end of the first F100 video, I talked about these a little bit. When I bought that truck, these were free. They came with it. This one was a parts quad, and this one they did have running at some point. But as you can tell, they've both been sitting for a super long time. So um, I did kick them both over. This one has compression. That one doesn't. And I've moved them around the yard quite a bit and broken the plastics on both of them because they were just brittle as anything. But we do have one good rear piece and one good front piece, so I could at least make one good quad out of it. Or I could just drill holes and zip tie it back together, which is probably what I'm gonna do. But, so if you don't know much about the early kids two-stroke 90s, um, they're pretty much all the same. Polaris, Eton, they're all made by the same company. I forget the name, but. So yeah, they're just literally a single cylinder 90 two-stroke CVT transmission. The last few years of the Polaris 90 two-strokes, they did have uh, forward neutral and reverse, but most of them were just direct drive like these. Well, I guess I'm gonna try to drag this one up to the garage and then we can uh, start working on it, so. Ooh, that chain is looking delicious. That's gonna be fun. Yeah, so that's a perfect example of why you oil your chains. Take care of your stuff. All right, so it's in the garage. I think first I'm gonna hook a battery up to it and see if I can get anything to work. Um, it does have an electric start, so we'll see if that works. There we go. Oh boy. Um, well, we have a battery. I'm assuming it does absolutely nothing. So, I'll hook the uh, booster pack up to it. Nothing. I'm assuming that the mice got to the uh, wiring, so that's great. Well, there's a couple other ways we can get this thing to spin over. So, we'll just hook this straight up to the starter. Now, we just hook a ground up to it. Sure. Oh. Well, she cranks. I guess first we'll see if it uh, has spark at all. All right, so we'll go ahead and pull the spark plug. This thing is just covered in oil. Oh my God, I'm, my hands are already covered. Just touch this to a ground. Oh yeah, we got plenty of spark. So uh, now I think I gotta figure out how to get this uh, air box off. God, the last 92 stroke that I worked on was a 2006 player sportsman because I uh, broke the exhaust in half and the stud got stuck in the cylinder. So instead of trying to drill it out, I just bought a whole new cylinder. Huh. That's stuck on there pretty good. Well, that's gonna be a nightmare. Let me mess with this for a couple minutes. You know what I really don't like is how the whole transmission is held together with Phillips screws. I wish I was kidding, but I'm actually serious. There's like not a single bolt on this whole thing. Okay, I'm just ripping off the carb is all I'm doing. You know what? We might as well just pull the carb off. Cause, uh, well, we're probably gonna have to rebuild it anyway, so. There we go. What is this though? This is what I don't understand. It has something electronic on it. I'm gonna guess choke, but I don't know how that works. Well, this is also a two-stroke, so I don't know how any of this works. Oh, there's one. There, here we go. Awesome. There we go. Okay, that's a part. So usually I would rebuild stuff on my workbench, but this is so disgusting that I don't even want to. Believe it or not, the parts quad is actually really, really, really clean. Oh my God, uh, that's a two-stroke for you. All right, so with a little bit of heat, I've made some progress. Oh my God, finally. Oh boy, Um, don't wanna know what was living in there, but here we go, got our carb off, finally. I mean, I don't know if I wanna clean it. Oh, that's bent now. I'm just gonna ignore that. Honestly, I might just go put it back on and uh, just spray some starting fluid in it and see if I can get anything out of it. Oh wait, yeah, throttle slide, I never put that back in. All right, got that situation all fixed. Whoa. Um, it runs. Right, so I have a fuel system locked up. This is not unsafe at all. Um, what I always loved about these two stroke 90 quads is that they have oil injection so that they have a separate reservoir so you don't have to run premix. Cause I think it's just a pain having to measure the oil and then measure the gas and do all this math when you can just have a separate reservoir. Two stroke guys are probably yelling at me right now, but that's fine. Oh, well, she's trying. That sounded fine. I don't know why the oil lights on, but that's fine. Oh crap. Alright, stop. 
no, 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 no more. It is puking out gas everywhere. The float's definitely stuck. Well, I don't have carb clean or brake clean or literally anything. And I also have stuff that I need to do because today's Sunday. So I think I'm going to wait to rebuild the carb till a later date. Um, but yeah, see you guys when I do. All right, so it's been a little while. Free quad is back. Um, I aired up the tires, somehow got it to run, and I actually ripped it around the driveway a little bit. Um, and then it just stopped running and I can't get it to pick up fuel now. So I think the float got stuck all the way up. So now it's not letting any fuel in. Um, so we're going to pull the carb off, try to rebuild that. And then I'm still trying to get this one screw out of the air box so we can, uh, you know, put this back on. It's probably full of garbage. So, uh, one of the issues I've run into when trying to, uh, make videos on this so far is it's so small that trying to set up the camera is almost impossible. Like, I have to put it in the weirdest spots so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. All right, so I got this off. Now we get to see, um, you know, how bad this is inside. Okay, yep, just dump gas out everywhere. Something tells me I uh, clogged one of the jets. Let's see how much gas is in it. Oh, that's disgusting. It looks like orange juice. I don't, I don't really know what I had going through this, but it wasn't good. Okay. Oh, um, I was just running that. All I smell is varnish right now. Oh my God. Okay, I've seen some stuff in a carburetor, but I have never seen that before. All right, so uh, I don't have carb cleaner. So I'm gonna do the right thing and, you know, that's, it's, it's the same thing. It is 100% pretty bad, but it's fine. All right, it's, it's good enough. Yeah, um, I can imagine there wasn't much fuel flow through this. All right, so you can see it's uh, good to go now. I should probably clean all this. Just did the good old ether rebuild, and uh, she's, you know, she's brand new. I'll go ahead and throw this back on and uh, see if it'll get fuel now. So the carb's all rebuilt, put it back in. I honestly think now I'm going to try to uh, drain all the varnish out of that tank. So if we can get that to work, that would be awesome. Well, nothing's coming out of the tank, so... It actually doesn't look horrible. And it is leaking everywhere. And that's not gonna stop leaking. So we gotta address that really quick. Oh, it's the line straight from out of the tank. All right, so it looks like what I'm gonna have to do is just pull all the lines off. She's still puking out everywhere, but these lines are so dry rotted that I'm shocked that they even held fuel at all, actually. I'm gonna cut the camera because this is actually super hard to film and do at the same time. All right, so in an effort to quit fuel flow, I uh, jacked the whole front of the quad up. Yeah, um, got some Ford vacuum lines that are the same size as these, and uh, we're gonna replumb the fuel system. So wish me luck. So it's the next day. I completely redid the fuel system. I just rebuilt the carburetor once again because our float still was not working. It wouldn't let any fuel in, which is why it wouldn't run. I don't even know if I filmed me trying to start it yesterday. Probably not. Yeah, I guess we'll uh, turn the fuel on. Oh, well, no leaks yet. I don't know, maybe we try to start it. See what happens. Oh my goodness. Here we go. She runs. Huh. So the oil light's on, but uh, first I do want to oil the chain just because um, it's uh, it's pretty bad. Look at that. These headlights are actually really bright, which I'm shocked by. Not bad for a free quad. All right, chain's all oiled. Now it's time to uh, take it for a little rip. I got like no front brakes. Back brakes work amazing though. They're disc, go figure. Well, I guess the uh, last thing to do to it is to uh, zip tie the plastics back on, make it look half decent. So I'm gonna start drilling holes, throw some zip ties in it. Look at that, she's like, She's practically mint. I got one more tiny piece that I gotta put on. Ow, that was my hand. All fixed. And there we go, got it all zip tied back together. It actually looks half decent. I did go ahead and uh, 
put these two in, but it's, you know, it's just, it's a little more than the uh, plastics. Yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Not bad for a free quad. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy my content, please like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.